Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My fiance's mother gave me abortion pills as an early Christmas present. How on earth do I navigate this situation? As a Christmas present? Oh. <laughs> she definitely wanted to start something, for sure. We were having sort of an early holiday gathering hosted at his parents' house. It wasn't a small gathering either, and not everyone there knows we're expecting except his brother, mother and father. Right before we got ready to leave, she gave me a small gift box, which I initially thought was jewellery, and told me to tell her or my fiancé what I think of it. All of this kind of happened in a rush, and there wasn't even a gift exchange between everybody because it wasn't that kind of party. But everyone thought she's being sweet to me because we're getting engaged soon. I was honestly tired and opened the gift at home, which is when I saw what this wicked woman gave me. She gave me pills that I used for medical abortion. I understand she wasn't too happy about the news and obviously doesn't like me for f knows what reason but kept it civil, so did I. But reaching this level, I generally don't know why she doesn't like me when the rest of the family is completely fine with me. I assume it's because either of my ethnicity or she has a superiority complex and believes I'm not good enough for her son because he graduated from a very prestigious university and has been financially privileged his entire life, while I haven't been. Even though now I earn my own money and we are pretty much equal, I simply don't know. I obviously told him and showed him and he saw how visibly upset I am, comforted me and said what she does and says to me doesn't reflect my worth and will talk to her. I don't understand why he doesn't do something about it immediately, it has been almost 24 hours. We are happy about this pregnancy and even though it wasn't exactly planned, it was welcome if it happened and that is something him and I discussed over a year ago. What's the mom's problem? Seriously, I don't get it. That present is effed up. The fact that someone's expecting and everyone's happy, you know, and then she's gonna give them an abortion pill. I would not ever want to see his mum ever again and I would want him to do something about it because you don't just give someone abortion pills when they're happily expecting. Even if it was unplanned and they're not that happy about it, you still don't give them abortion pills. Why wouldn't you just randomly give someone abortion pills when they didn't ask for it? That's so weird. And I can't really tell why the mum is like that when her husband didn't do anything about it within the 24 hours. <sighs> because normally your husband should be the one getting mad as. But why is he only like, okay, I'll talk to her. But he hasn't even talked to her yet during the first day that it happened. I kind of feel like the husband is like downplaying it. He's not treating it as seriously. But yes, for sure, I don't ever wanna see his mom again and I would not even want my kid to be near his mom. And the fact that the mom was even like, let me know what you think of the present. Wow, she's crazy too. All right, moving on. Boyfriend bought a dog knowing that I didn't want one when we lived together. What is the appropriate response? I will admit that I'm part of the minority being that I don't like dogs. I never understood the hype. My boyfriend is the opposite. He loves dogs, especially pugs, and he has had one growing up his entire life. We moved in together in May. About a month ago, he brought up to me that he thinks we should get a dog. I knew that this would come up at some point in our relationship, but I didn't think it would be before we've lived together for even a year. We have been dating for almost four and a half years. I told him I wasn't ready yet, and I also told him that I do not think pugs are cute and I'd rather we get a different dog. And this is a huge compromise for me, simply implying I would get a dog in the future. The next few days to a few weeks, he keeps showing me photos of pugs for sale. I keep not reacting to the photos because they are not cute to me. Then last Monday, he tells me he set up a visit with a breeder to look at pugs on Friday. I start bawling my eyes out because I do not want a dog right now. Before we go home separately for Thanksgiving in front of his entire family, I make it clear that I'm not ready for this and I don't want a dog right now. I'm thinking maybe he'll just go look and I look him dead in the eyes and say please do not buy one. I'm not okay with this. I truly in my heart didn't believe that he would. He's not the spontaneous type. On Friday, he sends me pictures and videos of pugs, to which I say nothing, and to which he says nothing. I think I'm in the clear. Then Saturday comes. He tells me he needs to make money for the playpen he bought. I ask why he bought one, and he replies, for the dog. I thought he was kidding until I kept questioning it more and figured out he's not. I broke down in tears in front of my entire family. At this point, I'm also upset about the fact that he didn't tell me for an entire day, didn't respect me saying I wasn't ready, etc. I get told I'm being irrational, not giving it a chance, would never get one, and so on. He can't seem to understand what he did was wrong and it's making me question whether I want to be with him or not. Better yet, his entire family thinks I'm being stubborn and crazy. 
What's the appropriate response to the situation? Is this worth breaking up for? Y- yes. I mean, I'm a dog lover too. But if you don't like dogs, then you don't like dogs, right? If you don't like something, you just don't like it. You just respect that about a person. Like, I have a friend who doesn't like this kind of food. And I'm like, you don't like that? But I also respect that. That's it, right? I'm not going to try to make her like it. I just respect that and be like, okay, you don't like that. Cool. I'm not going to try to convince her to like it because why would I? Even if the whole world likes it and she doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. Like respect is such a big thing in relationships. This is crazy. The fact that she begged him not to get a dog so many times and he still got a dog. And a dog that she doesn't even like. (laughs) that's messed up she was already compromising okay she was like i don't like dogs but if you're gonna get a dog let's not get a pug let's get a different dog and he still got the dog that only he wanted selfish if this was my partner he would have lost my trust lost my respect for him lost my love for him and lost everything i had for him because i'd be breaking up you know you're in a relationship you're gonna be living together everything is about compromising The fact that he doesn't want to compromise, but she's the only one compromising is crazy. And I hope he knows that when you get a dog, you actually have to take care of the dog. And you actually have to like the dog to take care of the dog. And if he's going to be living together with her, it's best that she likes dogs as well. Because if only one of you guys like dogs, yeah, (laughs) it's probably not going to work out. But yeah, if this was me, if I was in her shoes... I would definitely dump someone for doing this. She was literally communicating, communicating, and communicating. And he was just literally a brick of wall. You know what? Communication is so important in a relationship. But if one person doesn't want to listen, then communication does nothing. (sighs) It's tough, you know? It's tough. I went to a wedding with another man after my husband had ghosted me for multiple days. Is it worth telling him? My husband and I have been married for a year and dated for two years before our wedding. Of course, we had fights, but nothing like what has been happening recently. We moved to a new apartment this year and he started acting weird. He wouldn't talk to me about anything. He never wanted to have sex, but still spent hours masturbating in the bathroom. He didn't want to go out anymore, but pushed me into going out with friends because he wanted to be alone. He started arguments all the time for dumb reasons. He frequently didn't come to bed and sleeps on the couch instead, claiming he was working. A month ago, it was my best friend's birthday. My husband and I were going, but at the last minute, he got angry and refused to go. He insisted I should go and practically forced me out of the house. My friend's brother, Ethan, was there. I haven't seen him in years since he moved away for work. I used to have a huge crush on him when I was in high school. He told me he was back in town and planning to stay. We have been casually texting since then. Last week, my husband and I had another fight. He said he couldn't tolerate living with me anymore because I was too annoying and was always harassing him after I complained about us never going out anymore. He told me he needed time away and was going to stay at a hotel for a few days. I tried to call and text him to come back, but he ghosted me. Ethan texted me Friday. I told him my husband left. He told me I needed to get out of the house and not think about it. He had a wedding of a friend from work the next day and invited me to go with him. I love weddings and didn't want to spend another day crying, so I agreed. We had a great time at the wedding. Nothing happened between us, but I realized that the two of us being there could be misinterpreted, so I told him not to tell anyone. Yesterday, my husband returned. He cried and apologized for everything he has been doing these last few months. He promised that things are going to change and that he's starting therapy right away. He told me he didn't mean any of the stuff he said and that he loves me more than anything in the world. It is clear he has been dealing with issues, but I love him and want to save our marriage. I am unsure if I should tell him about the wedding with Ethan. It doesn't matter and telling him might make this situation worse, but there's also the risk of him finding out. Just tell him. If nothing happened, just tell him. Because you just went as a plus one with somebody who needed a plus one. Like she just went to the wedding because she likes going to weddings, not because she likes the man. (laughs) There's a difference. (laughs) But anyways, what's the husband on? (laughs) What is going on with him? Is he depressed or what's going on? I mean, I'm glad that he says he's gonna start going to therapy, but like what the hell happened? Why did he treat her like that? And like, why did he ghost her? Your husband ghosting you? Yo, like, (laughs) are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure a lot of us are already tired of getting ghosted when we're not even in relationships. But imagine getting married and you get ghosted. (laughs) Yo, (laughs) I'd question my life. I would actually question my life. 
So what was the point of all this? If I was going to get ghosted anyways, what was the point? And did it say he spent hours in the bathroom pleasuring himself? Hours? That's suspicious. Like, what is he doing at home? Whenever he, like, tells her to go out, what is he doing at home? Suspicious. Like, who's he having over? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's weird. It's very weird. Hmm. Hmm. So like what happened, you know, why did he have to go to a hotel and then just ghost her and then all of a sudden he comes back and is like, I love you so much. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.